In this specific video, I'm going to show you how to turn on your built-in theme editor so that you can edit certain files within your theme. For example, your footer, your header, your 404 pages, and more. Now, this is for advanced users, and you need to know what files you want to change because you can do a lot of damage if you don't know what you're doing. So with that said, let me go ahead and get started here. I want to go to my WordPress dashboard. And then if you go to appearance, you'll find the editor here. Now, some of you will notice that you're unable to edit files within the theme editor. And for some of you, if you're able to do this and your web hosting company has automatically enable this, then you're going to see a button here and you're good to go and you're set and you don't need to watch the rest of this video. But if you don't see that, I'm going to show you how to enable the editor. Now you can do it where you can enable certain files. So for example, if you know you're going to do a lot of editing with the footer, or certain files you can do that and that's probably the best bet to go with because that way you can simply secure all your other files and only edit certain files now to do this you will need to have access to an FTP program in this example we're going to be using FileZilla and if you don't have FileZilla simply Google FileZilla download and install the program because we're going to be using it now. So right now you want to find your WordPress files or location. And in this case, as you can see, it is in my root directory. And you need to locate where your theme files are located. So in this case, wp-content, it's going to be under themes. And in this example, I'm using the 2012 theme. Now, if you double click into that folder, you will notice that most of these files in the theme editor are located in the root directory, as you can see here. And what you can do is simply highlight all of these files here and right click, click on file permissions and change everything to 777. Now keep in mind though that it could open yourself up to possible security breaches. And that's why I say if you're going to do this, make sure that you know, okay, which files do you want to edit? And what I personally would do is simply highlight these, change the file permissions, do my editing and then when I'm done with my editing go back here and change it back to 755 so if I click file permissions and change it to 777 and click on OK and I go back to my WordPress theme editor refresh the page here now you'll notice that I can actually edit these files and click on update file and it'll actually save it. So if, for example, I want to edit my header, I can simply go in here, make the changes and click on update file. Now make sure that once you're done to highlight these, click file permissions and change it back to seven Five, five. Otherwise, you're going to open yourself up to a possible security breach and somebody can come in and basically hack your site. So you want to make sure that you protect yourself at all costs. And if I go back here and I refresh the page, you can see that these files are, are no longer editable. And that's it. Now you can begin to edit certain files within your theme.